Greetings all and welcome back to round four of the Harry Potter Quiz Night 2022. Hosted by yours truly, in conjunction and on behalf of the Shetland Library. Celebrating 25 years of Harry Potter. Yes, 25 years since the first book was published. And if you haven't read them, what are you doing here? You won't know a single answer. Goodness gracious me. Go away. Shoot the off of you. Now, as for the rest of you, be warned. Round four is truly and utterly only for super fans. These questions have been prepared by one's old friend, former boss here at Hogwarts, uh, Professor Armando Dippet, and he is a stickler, let me tell you. Yes, I said stickler, Armando, not stinker, although you were known for that proclivity as well. It's true. Now then. Oh, goodness me. Did you have to begin with so difficult a question? Oh, sorry. I don't shoot the messenger. Not that it would affect me anyway, as I'm dead. Question one. Name one of the passwords given to access the Gryffindor common room. That's any one of the passwords given throughout all the books to access the Gryffindor common room. And of course, that's hidden behind the portrait of the rather how to put it, gravitationally challenged lady, perhaps? That's very unkind of you, Armando. It's so rude sometimes. Name one of the passwords given to access the Gryffindor common room. Any one of the passwords throughout any one of the books. Yes, I know she's called the fat lady. Still, it's very rude of you. Are you ready? You need some more time? Very well. Ten more seconds on the pocket clock. If one can find it. Oh dear. I haven't seen it in my pocket clock. Ooh. I bet you it's in the common room. Professor Flitwick was playing with it. Oh. Once again, name one of the passwords given to access the Gryffindor common room behind the portrait of the fat lady. Yes, yes, yes. Question number two. The secret passage to Honey Dukes is located in which statue on the third floor of Hogwarts? Ooh. And what word must you say to access it? If you could remember the last part, I'll give you two extra points. Ha! That'll teach you. So, the secret passage to Honey Dukes is located in which statue on the third floor of Hogwarts? And what word must you say to access it? Magical word, of course. See if you can remember the full name of the statue as well. Stinker, I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I did say he was a stinker. <sighs> the secret passage to Honey Dukes is located in which statue on the third floor of Hogwarts? And what word must you say to access it? If you could remember the last part, I'll give you two extra points. Question number three. How many secret passageways into and out of Hogwarts Castle are shown on the Marauder's map? 
how many secret passageways into and out of Hogwarts Castle are shown on the Marauder's map. Now, if any of you have your magic wand, which you might have bought at Harry Potter's little holiday village thingamajigger over in Florida or down in London, or wherever, one of these one of these many shops that sprung up all over the place for a while, then you have your Marauders map on there. So if you figured out the map that is, you should be able to count up all those secret passageways into and out of Hogwarts Castle. Otherwise, try and remember how many secret passageways into and out of Hogwarts Castle are shown on the Marauders map. Moving on, shall we, to question number four. Ah, it's a related question. Not related to me, of course. It's related to the question I had before. If it was related to me, that was just silly. Question number four. Name the Marauders. Nicknames and real names, both required. Name the Marauders. Nicknames and real names, both required. Half a point for each of the nicknames, a full point for each of the real names. I get to decide these things, thank you very much. Name the marauders. Nicknames, required, half a point, and real names, full point. Question number five. What profession are Hermione's pets? That's rather an easy one for you to ask, I wonder. What, you don't know yourself? You were just hoping someone would tell you, is that it? Really? Seems it is. So well, I shall, I shall break the news to you shortly then. What profession are Hermione's parents? Now that we've had an easy one, on to another stinker. What is Moaning Myrtle's full name? Full name. So she has any middle names. We shall need those as well, for only half a point shall be granted. <coughs> Question number six, once again, what is Moaning Myrtle's full name? I suggest you hit pause now. You might want to have a think about that one. But I'm going to move on meantime to question number seven. Give me a moment to press pause. Not speaking. I'm just kidding. How many staircases are in Hogwarts Castle? Question seven, once again. How many staircases are in Hogwarts Castle? That would be difficult. How many staircases are in Hogwarts Castle? Press pause again if you must, because I am moving on in three, two, and one. Professor Dumbledore, that would be me, by the way, so, oh, why? Professor Dumbledore has a scar above his, my, left knee. What shape is it in? Professor Dumbledore has a scar above his left knee. What shape is it in? What shape is it in? Oh, 
consciously affiliated. Question number nine. We need more time for that before we can read it again. Very well, one more time. Professor Dumbledore has a scar above his left knee. What shape is it in? Now, question number nine. When Sirius Black was arrested in the Prisoner of Azkaban, what room in the castle was he taken to and locked in? Hmm. When Sirius Black was arrested in the Prisoner of Azkaban, what room was he taken to and locked in? You are fond of these sticky ones, aren't you, Amanda? Hmm. The other headmaster should be arguing over these for ages. I shall never get any sleep, you know. <laughs> Moving on to question number 10. Let's pause if you must. Question 10, the final question in the quiz. Hogwarts, oh, this is easy. Come on, man, did you run out of steam or something? Hogwarts students take OWL exams, OWL exams, in their fifth year at the school. What do the letters O, W and L stand for? Hogwarts students take OWL, O-W-L, exams in their fifth year at the school. What do the letters O, W and L stand for? Even Argus Filch knows that one. Good grief. Yes, I shall tell you shortly what Hermione's parents do, but not until the rest of them catch up. Wait your turn, man. Once again, the final question. Hogwarts students take OWL, O-W-L exams and their fifth year at the school. What do the letters O, W and L stand for? And with that, we are done. All that remains is for me to run through the answers with you once I've wet my whistle once again. I know, I really shouldn't keep wetting my whistle. It doesn't play the same afterwards. Still, it's a hobby. Everyone has to have one, you know. I shall see you in just a few seconds' time. Please do hang on while I nip away. Thank you for your